Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching again. Today we're going to talk about a movement drill you can do with a basketball or a medicine ball or some sort of ball to help you sequence your swing properly so that you can use your legs and your body to propel your arms and club into the ball to give you more speed, okay? So most of the times when you go to your local driving range or at your local club, at most amateurs tend to start their swing with their arms first, okay? So when they make when they make their downswing, they tend to use arms first, okay? So it doesn't go really far and they hit it in, and they hit it outside in, they hit slices, they hit fades, okay? So if I were to liken it to throwing a basketball, you're, those guys are typically be throwing it like this. So not much power, not much force behind it, okay? If we were to try to throw this basketball as hard as we can, we would probably use our legs and body to propel the arms and eventually the ball. That will give us more speed and we want to liken that to the same thing with our golf club in hand. So this is what you're going to do. So from setup, you're going to take your normal setup position, okay? When we throw the ball, we wind it up like we would in the backswing where your, where your lead arm, so my left arm as a right-handed golfer is against my chest. If we were to push into the ground with the legs, and then that reacts up to the hips and body. You can see that now my body's facing the screen and my arm's still strapped and behind me, okay? And eventually that propels my arms and hands towards the screen and that what's, that's what releases the, the basketball, okay? So I'll do, I'll do it one time for you in normal speed. So I'm here, I'm loading, and you can see I'm pushing my legs into the ground to rotate and I'm turning my body into the screen and that's what allows it to propel my arms and basketball at the screen with more force, okay? If I were to do it um, the bad way where we just use our arms, it looks like this. So as you can see, no body engagement at all, okay? And that typically leads to an outside in club path where you hit slices and not very nice ball flight, okay? So I'll do it one more time with, with, with a good way where again, you're gonna hold the basketball, we're gonna initiate with the ground first to throw this basketball as hard as we can, and then we're gonna hopefully translate that feel into the golf club, okay? So I'll do it one time for you guys. I'm set up, I'm gonna load it, I'm gonna bring the basketball back to load it, I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can by using my body to propel my arms and hands in basketball. Kinda like that. So once I have a feel for it, I'm gonna hopefully translate that same feel into swinging the golf club, okay? So from the top, I'm gonna mimic the same thing with my legs and then my body and then my arms and then my hands and then my club. Just like how we threw that basketball. So it should look like this. Just like that, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. You know, power, power the golf swing with your legs and body like you would in any other explosive movements and you should be hitting it farther and hopefully straighter too. So try this out next time you practice. Any questions, leave it in the comments below, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.